Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. We are going to start very soon. So, before we continue with the next item, I am pleased to announce that the counting of ballots concerning the new members of the evaluation body has been completed. 24 committee members were present and voted for electoral group 2 and 5A. For electoral group 1, there was one invalid ballot paper, so 23 committee members are considering having voted. The following candidates received votes as follows. Electoral Group 1, seat for one accredited NGO, German Confederation of Skilled Crafts Germany, received two votes. The Finnish Folk Music Institute from Finland received eight votes. Workshop Intangible Heritage Flanders from Belgium received 13 vote and is elected. <laughs> Congratulations to Workshop Intangible Heritage Flanders from Belgium. Now let's move on to Electoral Group 2, seat for one accredited NGO. Georgian Arts and Culture Center from Georgia received own 11 votes. European Association of Folklore Festivals from Bulgaria received 13 votes and is elected. <laughs> Congratulations also to European Association of Folklore Festivals from Bulgaria. Now, Electoral Group 5A, sit for one expert. Mr. Pascal James Kishindo from Malawi received seven votes. Mr. Lemene Getashu Senishou from Ethiopia received 17 votes and is elected. Congratulations to Mr. Getashu Senishou. We now have the names of the three new members of the evaluation body. I wish to congratulate them and at the same time thank all other candidates. Dear committee members, there is one more thing we have to decide under this item. When this item was opened, we agreed to change the order in which nomination files are dealt with by the evaluation body and the committee. Now is the time to pick a letter to determine the order. I am informed that a box is ready, ready with pieces of paper each carrying one of the letters from A to Z. Here. May I ask a volunteer amongst the committee members to draw a letter from the box? Wants to be a volunteer? Okay. We propose Alex? Philippines. Oh, you propose, <laughs> but you, uh, you're, it's a mandate for Philippines or an invitation? It is a kind invitation. <laughs> oh, okay, because Philippines, are you volunteer? You're coming in a volunteer form? Yeah, okay. Come, please. Thank you.
So, dear members of the committee, I am pleased to inform you that the committee will start the evaluation examination process of the files under the 2020 cycle by the letter Q. Q. And thank you, Philippines. Thank you for coming here. They will then continue by alphabetical order with R, S, etc. We talked about this issue in our bureau meeting this morning. I would like to propose that the same letter Q will be used for the seating arrangement for the state parties non-members of the committee during the meeting of the Intergovernmental Committee, as well as for the seating arrangements for the state's parties during the General Assembly of our convention. Thank you, and I, I want to know if there is any question. No? Okay. Then we are ready now to proceed with the adoption of the draft decision. Please refer to document 18, and it's draft decision in paragraph 11. It's already on screen. We should go paragraph by paragraph. Then, paragraph one, adopted. Paragraph two, adopted. Paragraph three, adopted. Paragraph four, Adopted. Paragraph five. Okay, we are going to. Write the name of the. Expert. From Ethiopia. Then proceed to adopt the part that is related to the expert representatives of states' parties, non-members of the committee. One, two, three, four, five, six, adopted. Then accredited non-governmental organizations. One, two, three, four, five, and six, adopted. Paragraph six. Adopted. And finally, paragraph seven which should put the letter Q on it, and we proceed to adopt it. Okay, let's proceed to adopt the whole decision. I declare decision 14, 18 adopted. <laughs> 